Hey guys, Wingnut here. And G6. And welcome back to Mashed Up. As you could probably tell on the internet, we kind of balked on our first video. So bear with us as we go under that new construction. We promise we'll do better. Now, without further ado, I am really, really excited to talk about one of Legend Hobby's newest releases, the T6 Texan II made by Seagull Models. Now, whenever we first met, G6, uh, you were actually looking at this model, correct? Well, I was looking for a Texan, but I didn't know that this, this Seagull model was out there. I had been looking for a larger scale, wanted to get out of the foamy niche and into something more back to my, my roots, if you would, get into the balsa. Uh, and if I remember correctly, the ones that we were looking at were really, really cheap, and that was kind of suspect for it, being a balsa build, right? It, it was, and if you guys, you guys will get to know that we're, we're all about quality and value. Uh, because we can't afford to get those fancy fiberglass everything's with turbines and gizmos and gadgets. So we're trying to keep it realistic for for our yeah. for our approach. Um, I, so I had I had been recommended actually Wingnut recommended Legend Hobby out of College Station, and uh, I quickly established an amazing relationship with with these guys. It's a great company. Um, I've had dealings with them in the past as well. Had parts break, no questions asked, got them replaced, and they work really hard for that customer service. So if you guys are like us, you don't like hobby shops that are unreceptive to feedback and all of our RC aircraft needs. Yeah. And this is very evident with what's going on with their economy right now, where you see hobby shops closing their doors left and right. And also you give them any kind of suggestions and it goes out there into a black hole. Seriously, and it's, it's frustrating. And I, 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 can, I, I can speak with that and we can empathize with that. But I'm happy that there are still companies like Legend Hobby out there that, that are receptive to that feedback. And I mean, this is an airplane, I would say that we're both relatively close to. So some of the uh, features that we noticed off the bat on the plane were a little off, right? You know, back when I found out that, that Legend Hobby was going to carry the T6 Texan again from Seagulls, I was like, hey, 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 we, got, we have feedback right off the bat. Uh, there are some, some scale differences. There's some modernizing we need to do. And, and so we, we took that feedback and, and provided it. And Legend Hobbies was more than happy to work with the manufacturer, Seagull Models, and, and get some of those improvements made. And boy, did they ever deliver, right? Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you, I can't even begin to tell you. And I can't wait to get into the unboxing and the build video and, and really get into the details on this plane. Because I know that, that scale enthusiasts are going to really appreciate some of these pieces, as well as our electric crowd. Yep. So G6, um, I noticed on this model, they really upgraded it for the modern flyer. Absolutely. They've taken, uh, Legend Hobbies took that feedback from us and a couple other users out in the field and made some notable changes for the version 2 model, uh, starting with split flaps. For those those flyers that like that slower, more scale-looking approach speed. Man, and I love seeing it all hanging out on final. Oh. That's really awesome. <laughs> they've, got, they've got those flaps. For those of you that may have noticed on the box, this is actually a model PC-9. So dressed up in Air Force colors? Dressed up yep. in Air Force colors. So taking it back a little bit, a little history on the, the Texan, the Texan II actually came from, it's, a, it's essentially a PC-9 that, that was adapted by the U.S. Air Force. Uh, was a, a stateside company took that, that PC-9 design and they, they changed it just a little bit to be what is known as the T-6 Texan II. You know, going back to scale details, uh, one of the biggest things that we noticed uh, between the PC-9 and the T-62 Texan was right off the bat is the uh, horizontal stab, right? Yes, yes. So if you, you look on the box, you can notice, or you probably noticed on the box, that that's actually a, a PC-9 dressed up in Air Force colors. So what we did was we, we compared that to what's on the airfield right now. We have, with our, with our new version, or with the Texan II, the horizontal stab and the elevator actually are tapered to each other. So, and that was one of those things that you let Legend uh, know about, right? Yes, Legend was very receptive to making those small changes. And realistically, that saved us a lot of time here at Mashed Up because that would have, although that would have been a fun little project, not having to do that fun little project gets us out to the flying field a little bit yes, quicker. Yes, absolutely. And I, I, I'm knowing both of us, we wouldn't have flown it like this. <laughs> Ab absolutely not. And, and so, we, like I said, 
or like we said, this was a great thing to see. Yes. You know, speaking about that receptiveness and you know that uh, the receptiveness to take feedback from us. Speaking of just uh, on, a, on a final note for the scale, you'll notice on the bottom left corner here, the the actual there's the, there's the, this picture of the 75th anniversary Marauder edition. Texan that the Air Force Yeah, flies. so I've noticed that the paint was different. I took a peek. I'm sorry. Yep. I peeked. The, the paint is very much different than what is actually on the main cover. So Legend Hobbies took feedback from other users in the field and was able to actually get the paint out scheme of the, of the 75th anniversary Marauder Edition Texan. So they took that to Siegel Models, who then took that, that ore coat. They, they took their, their masterminds over there, and they covered up this version 2 with that 75th anniversary paint scheme. Uh, I say paint, but it's all gonna be done in ore coat film, which mm -hmm. is really nice considering how much time it takes to yes. cut out all that, all and that it's, film. And, and let me tell you guys, like I said, I peaked. It's beautiful. It, it, it's very, very, very nice. For our scale buffs out there, you guys will appreciate the fact that this plane actually looks like a model of the real thing or one of the real planes it's it's actually all the all the fuselage markings the tail markings all imitate that actual plane that's in the real air force inventory enough talking i'm getting impatient let's open this thing up all right so so yeah, we kind of cheated we already pulled it we already pulled the uh, the top off and opened up one piece. I'm not going to lie, I got a little excited and tore into it before uh, G6 could even get a hold of it. We just had to see, we had to see what we were working with here. So super, super excited here because, check this out guys, the per version one did not have flaps, which gave this aircraft some, some huge tip stall tendencies on that final approach. Not really something you want to see in a trainer. So we were able to get- But to just, just, just to interrupt you there for a second, oh, yeah? this is a military trainer. This is not a trainer for RC oh, pilots, yeah, right? That's, that's right, that's right. Okay. I, would, I would not recommend this to be your first balsa plane. Yeah. Uh, for sure. But uh, for, those, for those that Seasoned were- Seasoned vets. Seasoned vets. Or, or even just your uh, intermediate pilot that's mm -hmm. stepping up to um, you know, to a heavier airplane, for sure. I think this would be a good uh, fit for them, right? Absolutely. Okay. Um, and they'll definitely, you're definitely gonna be able to tell the difference between flaps and no flaps. Once again, that's a scale detail that we, we like, to, like to see in a model. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you and, can't ignore things like flaps. I know, and, and you can't, you just really, it just doesn't look right. Yeah. You know? Um, now, does the real airplane have split flaps like this? Yes. Okay. Come out from yeah. the bottom. So that's that's another one of those niceties. Because I've seen other kits where they've uh, the airplanes had split flaps, but they just put conventional flaps, and yeah. still, you know, just not cool guys. And as you can see, they are not just cut out of the wing like the ailerons. They are straight up from embedded. The, yeah. yeah. Embedded. So that's going to be a very nice, very nice scale piece of uh, attention to detail on there. And look at this covering. I mean, goodness gracious, that looks great. Yep. Or coat. Um, the only thing I do see a couple of wrinkles in here, so that's that's part of that that post manufacturing wrinkle that we probably get on the on the on the boat ride. Yeah, on the boat here. ride, uh, yeah. you, you know, changing heat, uh, moisture mm -hmm. content, you know, in a lot of instruction manuals. I'm sure this one I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm sure this one says it too. Whenever you get it from the from the uh, from the box, you should go over just, it with an iron yeah, real just fast. Just give a little touch yeah. up, and that shouldn't be a, a problem. We have. Man, I, just, I really like the details. I like, I love that the that the, the stickers, the decals are in here, and they're and they're matched they're, up they're, for they're sure. Matched. And they're not just not mashed, matched. Yeah. And these are actual these are actual cut out uh, graphics. These are not. It's not just a decal. So that's even a nicer detail. Yeah. They took they took that time. So real good stuff here. So rigid piece too yeah very rigid yeah. piece now this is what it looked like before i got curious and opened it <laughs> yeah. the packaging's once again really really nice um prevents chafing with the bags in between you won't end up with chatter like you know you you see in other projects and all those all that hanger rack yes definitely so here's our three main wing pieces this thing is going to be huge whenever it's built I, I can tell already yeah yeah for sure we got our our rudder. One thing I really like about this, just right out, and this was one of those scale upgrades we got, was that that flushness on on those on the, the side of our 
elevator there. Yeah, and what he's referring to is if you look at the older model, um, the uh, front of the horizontal stab did not come out to meet the elevator, so they corrected that within the, with this model. And for us scale guys, that's a huge, huge deal. Yeah, we would probably end up fabbing something, huh? You know, I was, I was very glad that, that they were able to get that fixed because that was going to be one of the first upgrades we did with this plane, just, mm -hmm. just to make it look better, yeah. you know. The cow looks, looks painted. That's good. Yeah, That's yeah. A good thing. It looks like it's pre-painted. We, we don't want to pull it out of the package yet because, yeah. well, you don't want things to get too torn up. Wheel wells? Yeah, wheel wells. They look pretty, pretty together. Look, there's the wing, uh, wing tube. Yeah, wing tube. Nice aluminum wing tube. Feels aluminum. Um, we got this gigantic canopy. Oh, goodness. We could put a cat in this thing. I'm allergic to cats. All right. You well, keep bringing up the cats. Do we have dogs? That w no, it's not quite big enough for a puppy. No, no, no. Probably wouldn't be safe. But maybe, may maybe my one-year-old. Oh, that, that, I, ne I never fought my kids, don't worry. <laughs> as long as she's got a parachute and a helmet, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Got to keep it, got to keep it legal. Hardware kit. Yeah, it looks like a really nice hardware kit. We got uh, metal uh, clevises there on, uh, I mean, it just, everything feels nice and solid. I mean. That, that's, uh, th it didn't seem like they skimped at all. It looks like they already pre have the uh, surgical tube on there to that's keep your calluses closed. I mean, that's, that, nice. that's a nice little, uh, it ma makes it go a little bit quicker. Last thing you want to happen is that it's come unjoined while you're flying around. Have an aileron floater. Yeah. Or something. For those of you that want to fly electrics, um, I know like both of us, we have little kids and we don't want, we don't want them to be handling you know, gasoline and flow. All that, all well, that my happens. kids are just impatient too. They're, and and to go over there and, and touch the plane, right? Well, no, they just want to go see the airplane fly. They don't want oh, me. To, they don't want to see Daddy sit there messing with an engine getting it started. So. In ten minutes, yeah, just flipping the prop just isn't always good. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're to each his own on engine brand. We won't get into that right now. I know there are some more reliable ones, but well, and then we'll also get into it more in the field video, right? Ab absolutely, yeah. um, because we will be running this airplane with an electronic uh, setup generous hardware bag very uh so we have looks like we have everything in here um, i'm counting the screws up real fast we are going to be short a few screws for the flap hinges but we'll talk about that in an upcoming episode lastly we have mechanical retracts so uh, for those of you that want a value kit like this this is definitely there's a couple points key key points in here that help with that value and having those servo uh, or the, the mechanical retracts definitely help out a little bit now i know you are planning on putting uh serverless retracts in yes. there uh, electric and yes uh, elect electric serverless retracts and i think you're also going to upgrade to struts as well correct absolutely you can he see here these are not very not very scale like and you know that's that's our thing it mashed up it's scale de yes. that attention to detail so uh, although we do have these we will during the build video be going directly into those upgrades and we'll also share what we used and all that good stuff whenever we get started all right so what do we got we got the fuselage left oh right? no, no oh wait wait no, whoa whoa miss this little piece our little wing our wing tips yeah got molded it looks like we have molded in for our our lights you know, mandatory on this one. Yes. We're going to put nav lights on this build. Mm -hmm. it, too, you well, your, your nicest yeah. build deserve that full scale attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And the last but not least, we got the fuselage. Wow. This thing, this thing is huge. Huge fuselage. Yes, it is. Well it, done. It, it looks beautiful. And the print looks good on there. Nice decals. Gosh. Now, yeah. a little birdie told me that you may have one of these. <laughs> Um, already assembled you caught me you caught me yeah. so do you think that possibly we could show these guys what it looks like yes absolutely huge shout out goes to legend hobby for sending us this version 2 texan 2. it's been amazing working with legend hobbies to get these notable upgrades done to this version 2. so if if you want to get one of these arfs exclusively for yourself or another seagull product head over to legendhobby.com affiliate link above and get one of these for your own for your hanger today and we look forward to many more seagull releases so like share subscribe hashtag talk about us 
and we look forward to seeing you guys next time. I'm Wingnut. And I'm G6. And you've been watching Mashed, Mashed Up. Up.